Well, I've been drawing all my life, but I never considered it a profession. I wanted to be a fighter pilot, so I actually had an art instructor saw my work in a model airplane club, and he said, you have a talent, you should go to school. So I listened to him and I went to school. While I was going to school, uh, I would hang out at a library and look at Aviation Week. A lot of artists are interested in the hardware. Well, to me, the hardware is as important as the landscape. Since I know the audience is either going to be a pilot or an engineer, it has to be technically accurate. Because if it's not accurate, somebody will spot that something is wrong, and actually even down to a rivet on an airplane. So it really starts becoming really nitpicky on how accurate I can make it. Actually, there was a painting that I did. It was, you know, happy accident how the paint went and I had the heat trail right. And a pilot that looks at it and says, I don't know how you did that, but that's exactly the way it looks. Well, then that's okay, I did it. And if the whole painting could be that way, well, then, then that'd be perfection. But of course, it'll never be that way. I've always been taught never be satisfied. I've never done anything that I'm actually truly satisfied with. It only is finished because it has to go out the door, but I, I could always go back and do something different. I've actually been exceptionally lucky. I, I'm probably the last embedded aviation painter in the aerospace industry. Being able to paint and do model work and illustration work and everything for almost 40 years, and now I can, I'm ready to retire. Well, I, I'm unbelievably lucky. My name is Mark Walkie. I'm a model builder digital illustrator and I do oil paintings.